sleek contour designs, impressive power and luxurious details and technologies. Introducing the all new and luxury 2016 Audi A7 in Olong Grey Metallic. The A7 Sportback is an executive mid-sized luxury four-door hatchback style produced by Audi since 2010. It features a roof line with steeply raked rear window and integrated trunk lid and frameless doors. The A7 has undeniable style. It's expressively sculpted with compelling lines and curves and completely captivates with full LED headlights. Under the hood, the A7 features a 3.0-liter V6 engine that pushes out 333 horsepower. With this, the A7 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.2 seconds. The model we have here today comes equipped with a driver assisted package and it is a permanent all wheel drive vehicle. The all wheel drive system has the ability to send power to the wheels that have the most grip to maximize traction to improve handling and performance. This is extremely critical when the road is slippery. From comfort and performance to entertainment and safety, the 2016 Audi A7 has everything there is to offer. So here's the key file to the car on there, there's a lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also press this button on the back to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock the A7 and see what's inside. The 2016 model does come with a smart keyless access entry, so all you really have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse or somewhere on your body. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch right there. As you can see, the frame is door. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior comes in Atlas beige leather with dark brown walnut wood trim. Quick view of the back seat here. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located on the center dash here. As you can see, the navigation system display immediately upon engine start. Now let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a closer look. To open the hood, simply pull this lever right here out. This will initially open the hood. And to open it fully, there's going to be another lever located in the center. Simply lift it up and raise the hood. Under the hood, this specific 2016 Audi A7 has a 3 liter V6 engine. And the V6 engine pushes out 333 horsepower at around 5300 RPM and 325 pound-foot of torque at around 2900 RPM. It is a 8-speed Tiptronic transmission with manual shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The 2016 A7 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.2 seconds, and its top speed is electronically limited to 130 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the A7 gets 20 miles per gallon in the city, 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 24 miles per gallon. To further enhance gas mileage, the A7 is also equipped with the Auto Start and Stop Efficiency System. With the Start and Stop system on, the A7 engine will automatically shut off at red lights or when stuck in traffic, and as soon as the driver let go of the brake, the engine will instantly restart, thus saving and get more gas mileage. And there's the lever in the middle as I told you earlier. Up front, there's the rain sensing intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the iconic Audi single frame grille with the Audi logo right in the center. Immediately below the Audi logo, there's a built-in front view camera as you can see here. Very nicely built. The front bumper is also equipped with parking assist that will automatically notify the driver when the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. For enhanced visibility, Audi is known for its beautifully designed full LED headlight which includes LED daytime running lights, LED low and high beam, and LED turn signal lights. This gives the Audi its unmistakably appearance. Overall, Audi did a great job with the A7 front face. Moving over to the side, there's the cornering light, supercharged Audi logo, 
body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature, power folding, auto dimming, and heated function. Here's a quick look at the lower side. As you can see, just the side view mirror itself is loaded with features. Very nice. This specific model comes with the 20 inch wheel package, which includes the 5 spoke W design wheels with bi colored all season tires. Behind the wheels, we have the 4 wheel anti lock braking system with electronic stability control and brake assist. Lastly, all four wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, there's the middle LED brake light strip on the rear windshield. Moving down, the A7 is equipped with an adjustable height rear deck spoiler which looks extremely aggressive when raised. On both sides are the eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. Parking sensors are also built into the rear bumper. And lastly at the bottom there's the matching color rear diffuser with a dual chrome exhaust tip. Very nice rear end. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, simply push in. The A7 gas tank can hold up to 19.8 gallon of gas and it takes only premium unleaded gasoline. Now let's go ahead and open the trunk and see what's inside. Very spacious and roomy. As you can see, there's two hooks on each side, which allows you to securely hook down your luggage or anything you need to. First aid kit over there. Hook on this side with trunk lighting. Over here, if you unscrew these two, inside you can see your Bose amp. And on top, we also have another compartment for you to put your tools. Up here we have two buttons. The lock button on the right hand side is used to lock the car door. And the button on the left hand side is used to lock the trunk. Under here we have your spare tire. Very spacious trunk. Now to show you a quick view of the top. The A7 does come with a sunroof. And here's a complete view of it closed. And I'll also show you what it looked like with an open end with a tilt function. Here it is with the tilt function on. Looks pretty cool and sporty overall. And lastly, I also show you what it looked like fully open. Here it is. And we're back on the inside. Here we have the three spoke multi sport steering wheel. Feels very nice. Over here we have the different control in which allows you to control everything that's going to be displayed on the odometer here. Audi logo in the middle with the horn. Over here we have the audio volume control, voice command, gear shift paddle located behind the steering wheel, one on each side. There's your windshield wiper control, headlight control, the button on the end is used to control the uh, lane assist button, press it once to turn on or off. Here we have your adaptive cruise control, 
and way back there is your telescopic steering wheel control you can move the steering wheel up down towards you or away from you driver air vent starting with the left we have your headlight washer head fog light control and headlights control interior lighting dimming driver sun visor with a small mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror you can also move this whole piece over to the side for better sun coverage hand bar on top and here's the beautifully displayed navigation system two additional air vent with the hazard light in the middle over here the top button as you can see is used to control the folding of the GPS navigation system press once to fold it and press it again to show very nice and below that we have the odometer reset button here's a closer look at the wood trim that's where you insert your CD there's your start and stop uh, function control press once to turn on or off parking assist control when you turn the parking assist on the uh, front camera will automatically display on the uh, navigation system here and you can also uh, change it to the rear view camera which show you complete view of the rear this is a really nice safety feature next is the uh, rear spoiler height control and lastly we have your traction control At the bottom, there's the dual AC heat climate control. Again, the wood trim looks very nice. Plenty of spot for you to put anything you need there, such as change. Now for a closer look at the gear shift box. To control it, push your foot down the brake and press the button on the back. Move down to OR to put the coin to reverse. When you do so, the rear view camera will automatically display as you can see here. Side view mirror will also automatically tilt down to show you a better view of the uh, rear very nice move down to D to put the car into a uh, drive after that you can simply uh, use the gear shift paddle uh, located behind the steering wheel to change gears or you can simply push the gear shift uh, over to the right hand side after that push up or down to change gears push back up to P to put the car back into park over here starting on top we have your parking brake lift up to activate and down to deactivate and here we have a touchpad for you to store your favorite radio station up to six storage let me go ahead and show you what that looked like very nice all right and below that we have the different display selection from navigation to telephone, media, or radio. There's a navigation view, phone view, radio view, and here's your media. Here's the main menu. To control this, you use the uh, knob right here to twist over to right or left and press down on it to select. Very cool navigation. Let me go ahead and show you the uh, core setting also. As you can see here, you can control the comfort, dynamic. Very nice. Over here, we have your engine start and stop button. Volume control here and press down on it to mute. Two cup holders. Middle armrest compartment have uh, two compartment, one on top and another at the bottom. And in here you'll find two USB input along with your auxiliary input. 12 volt core charger here. And there's also a spot for you to put some change there. Glove 
box compartment plenty of space inside and here's to show you a complete view of the dash moving up we have the auto dimming rear view mirror light control on top the A7 also have the built-in universal garage door opener you can simply input your garage door codes in here and use these three buttons to open and close your doors and in the middle there as you can see is your sunroof control let's go ahead and show you what it looked like open from the inside now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door door lock and unlock button next to it is up to two memory for easy readjustment of the driver's seat blind spot assist button here press once to turn it on press it again to turn it off four power window control and at the bottom we have the nicely two door lock button control for the rear door side view mirror control on top side door compartment here and in there you have the uh, trunk release switch both surround speaker there's the brake and gas pedal hood release lever again multiple seat adjustment here's a quick view of the front seat now both front seats are ventilated front seat belt is very smooth and quiet you can also adjust it by moving it up or down And here's a quick view of the back seat. You can also lock the doors from back here. Power window control. And here's a cigarette ashtray. Side door storage. Now again, I'm five foot seven, so this gives you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have. Full view of the front for sitting in the back. Two additional air vent in the rear. AC heat comp control back here also. And two additional 12 volt core torture. The middle is split up. So the middle passenger will uh, have to split their leg sitting. Here we have two additional cup holders. You can also raise this for additional storage space. Open this slot right here to give you access to the trunk. The A7 also have the built-in latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seats. Rear seat belts also very smooth and quiet. Light control on top. And there's the hand bar and a spot for you to hang your clothes. 